and it is more over changing to the multi cloud environment so environment is changing if we have to stay in this industry we have to learn and we have to we have to be uh, convenient with the industry culture Hello everyone welcome to Sisa this much this is Aditya and today we have with us Samir Roy who has recently qualified his Sisa so Samir first of all heartiest congratulations for clearing this exam so you know and by the way guys you know so he is extremely he's very experienced person who is having more than two decades of experience in the core IT infrastructure infrastructure so We we can ask him lots of questions, you know, about his background and you know why, what made him choose this particular certification. What's the importance of this? What exactly is going on in the industry currently? We will ask him so many questions. Okay, so but before that, uh, Samir, uh, I would request you to please introduce yourself, your background, and uh, what made you choose this particular certification, this uh, course, CISA. Hi everyone, uh, I am Samir Roy. I have twenty plus years of experience on core infrastructure, uh, right from the Cisco routers to uh, multi-cloud environment and uh, hybrid structure. I have uh, multiple certifications like CCNA, CCNP, CC. I written and uh, I have done solar wind certification and uh, I have done ju- Juniper and certification and so forth certification. I have experience on Palo Alto. And Fortinet uh, uh, and many more devices like OSCT and uh, recently I have done OC65 and many uh, training courses like uh, Checkpoint and uh, you can uh, Checkpoint and uh, Azure. Right, I have uh, 20 plus years of experience, so uh, it is uh, as Aditya told me. That why you are uh, core infrastructure person? Why you are doing that audit code? Because uh, what happens? Industry is constantly changing. It is not in a single point. It is changing because uh, that on premises premises environment is changing to the hybrid cloud, and it is more over changing to the multi cloud environment. So environment is changing. If we have to stay in this industry, we have to learn and we have to. we have to be uh, convenient with the industry culture otherwise it is a very difficult situation uh, for the it professionals i it is really a very tricky situation now because we are currently migrating to a new environment that's uh, that's my experience and exposure thank you aditya for uh, for the opportunity talk to you in a, in a, in the forum no actually you, you know we will learn a lot from your interview to be very honest and i'm sure whoever will watch this video definitely everyone will get some idea you know because you know what so this is something you know we i, I mean there are students who are freshers but there are most of the people who want to do certifications nowadays are so experienced they are already at the top level wherever they are in whichever field Whether in IT audit or whether in the infrastructure department or the cloud or data privacy, wherever they are, they are working. They are they are already at the top of their you know, but still, they 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 say that you know to in order to get the new opportunities, you know, the market is asking for certifications. And right. the thing is that like if you look in in the market again, there are so many certifications. there are so many certifications if if we t- talk about it security yeah but for uh, it audit guys it audit there is only one certification which is cisa so for it right. audit globally there is only one body which is isaka and only one certification which is cisa but if we talk about it security there are so many certifications in the market so what advice would you like to give to the people who want to make the decision like you know uh, like which certification they must be doing and and this is something guys you cannot just think about doing only one certification you know because see you can do it one at a time but then you know every year you will have to get 
at least one cer- certification so that you are uh, continuously upgrading your knowledge and also you are uh, you know uh, gaining the 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 recent ind- industry requirements so that tomorrow if you want to go for new job tomorrow if you want to go for new opportunities you can show it on your cv that you are up to date in the market so what should be the basis of the decision like you know if you can guide uh, something to the audience for that see uh, what happens aditya uh, what happens uh, industry is constantly changing and what happens Uh, companies are asking for multi skills person so uh, if you are a network professional they will ask for the server they will ask for the backup they will ask for the cloud they will ask for the audit also so uh, as a infrastructure professional i have the knowledge of infrastructure so uh, i have a plus point no i know what is the standard configuration for the router what is the standard configuration for the uh server what is the standard configuration for the backup devices what needs to be done for the cloud security i have already the experience but what happens in the uh, audit scenario what happens you have to apply a different mindset because uh, audit scenario technology is the last thing okay first is the audit control and technology comes in the last but i have an experience 20 plus years and i have worked with the different technologies uh, say about network say about server say about backup say about cloud technology so i have a, a advantage why the advantage is there because i know the process i know the process so if i have the audit experience then i can switch over to the audit because i i don't need anyone uh, specialist for that no I, i can audit that i have the specialization on that so i will know uh, i will know what needs to be done and that control scenario audit scenario as a uh, as a uh, controller i can suggest many things so uh, that is my objective because uh, see after certain age you can stick to a one field you have to be upgraded and you if you will not upgrade yourself you will be driven out of the market so it is the scenario my every year i do one certification last certification i was uh, i i have done uh, is the ciso certification uh, ciso you know ec council ciso certification and after that i have done juniper cloud certification also so I, this is my objective so i upgraded my skills so that i can fit in the industry i remain stay in the industry so that uh, my skills are now fully upgraded and i can fight with the other professionals that is my main objective and audit is a typical field so uh, it is a different mindset at all because in your video lectures also i have uh, daily i have read the one line only it is a different mind game because you have to be a auditor a controller and control person is there advisor not the core technological person because i have the problem solver attitude but uh, what happens uh, in audit problem solver attitude is not required it is the problem detector right so many the technical person like me uh, deviated from the actual things and we pick the uh, the problem solver uh, option but it is not the correct option so uh, that's all uh, from <laughs> my objective <laughs> is that that audit is a different thing and from the code technology and uh, code audit is a totally different field so mindset to be needs to be uh, settled so for that so, so one thing i have uh, understood from your answer is that you know so in 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 english we or we, we say that you know there is a saying that you know uh, jack of all and master of none you know so that, this is something which should not be but i think in it we have to be jack of all is it is it true is is this statement yeah true? you need to know because you are auditing and if you don't know what is network so and what is the backup process and how how it is uh, it is working why 
when and what they're treating you if you don't know then you, how you will audit <laughs> you don't know the objective how you will audit that is the question no technological background is necessary because otherwise you have every time you have to google yeah <laughs> i have the this problem and i have to google and and now different uh, options are there chat gpt <laughs> is there <laughs> and, yeah. and google google is uh, coming up with the new uh, chat gpt like uh, applications and uh, many more applications are there so if you don't know the technology then how will audit do you feel that chat gpt can uh, replace auditors uh, this is something i am asking is an no, altogether new uh, question that 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 chat gpt <laughs> cannot uh, replace auditors even uh, google is coming up with a new idea of chat gpt and uh, microsoft is also uh, can also they working. can they think and can they advise as a real human being you know looking at so no, many no 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 yeah. they have don't have the sensitivity levels uh, i have checked many things they have to you can uh, you can check uh, with uh, you can type that options what they are doing but uh, actually uh, they are they have not the sensitivity levels uh, that much but you will understand more uh, if you have the technology background you will understand more uh, from the live environment but um, chat gpt is uh, totally you can uh, you can tell as a advisor advisory level that's all but uh, but it is i don't know uh, it is doing the many things <laughs> many things <laughs> yeah. programming even i copied cisco program to juniper program and extreme program from the chat gpt it is working <laughs> fine so <laughs> I, i am also testing all the all the things programming <laughs> things even python also i am testing from chat gpt all right all right yeah so samir my next question to you is you know how much time does it take for any working professional who are very much you know i mean occupied with his or her own work uh, i know that you know especially people who work in big four in in top mncs you know and who are very experienced so so they are already occupied with lots of work so under the work pressure you know how to devote time for studies and everything so how what was your strategy when you used to study like every day do you used to study or you should, or you should study on weekends so what was your strategy actually uh, truly speaking uh, i for infrastructure it is uh, i am getting very little time so uh, what i was doing that uh, repeating your videos even anywhere i am going i uh, uh, start the application and start your video especially uh, domain 1 2 and 3 repeatedly i have seen uh, for at least 5 6 times it is for 6 months uh, but uh, basically i lost track uh, around after 3 months because uh, i have to uh, go to the sites and uh, there is uh, many workload is there so uh from usually i do the uh, i start from morning 7 and up to 9 i uh, see your uh, video lectures so repeating uh, domain 1 2 and 3 because it is a separate concept from the infrastructure truly speaking uh, for uh, uh working professional like me and from the pure uh, infrastructure background uh, it is very difficult to cope out because i am a problem solver not a watcher okay and uh, not a control person not a auditor but uh, that mindset to uh, bring that mindset uh, it is very difficult thing for me for three four months i always take the wrong question because i have the problem solver attitude but after that i slowly change my attitude uh, see repeatedly i have uh, seen your lecture even in the airports also i uh, Uh, i logged in uh, to your account and checked uh, the uh, difficult topics uh, because uh, domain 2 topic is uh, certainly very difficult and moreover if it is a domain 1 to domain 5 combination then it is more difficult you know it is more difficult to solve because um, i usually i take the wrong uh, wrong uh, answer because it is uh, 
it is very difficult to understand because audit is an infrastructure is totally different you know and uh, that concept is, and moreover isaka's concept is you have to cope with the isaka's concept because uh, what they are telling that mindset to be adopted uh, that is a very difficult situation for me for basically for, for last 3 months i i uh, literally literally struggled you can call it struggle but after 3 months i adjusted and that mindset are even i adopted that mindset so, so basically yeah uh, yeah please continue yeah uh, yeah basically uh, 7 to 9 morning and saturday sundays uh, three four hours Bec- because i am also a family person and i have the load <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i have to see the family and everything i have to manage that so uh, it is very difficult but um, can be manageable because uh, your uh, teaching technique it is like uh, i have adapted like chanting the shlokas in the morning <laughs> that old <laughs> you have the audit mindset you have <laughs> don't do that uh, that kind of mindset i have adopted then uh, after uh, before seven days i i i put one message to you that um, i will not give the exam but you told that please <laughs> yeah for the exam and i have passed the past time so uh, mm-hmm. that is great um, i appreciate your that energy you have provided to me and um, and given the um, that uh, audit uh, experience thanks yeah. thanks to you no no it's it's your hard work too and the thing is that you know since you are saying that you know uh, like it it takes some time to get yourself adapted to the isaka mindset but it is not difficult right i mean i mean no. the more you revise the more you study the more you will be in a better position to analyze and interpret the questions right right oh uh, what happens no uh, domain 1 2 3 is is purely audit okay audit control and governance but 5 6 is purely infrastructure and if you put uh, domain 2 and domain 5 then it is a dilemma for me <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what is the correct answer because uh, i have that mindset no problem right. solver mindset not the watcher mindset and yeah. that is the problem and 3 4 months i really struggled and um, it's okay now so i have passed passed but first attempt uh, that is yeah uh, so an experience for me yeah yeah no see uh, actually you know what so i, I remember one of uh, the inquiry which we have got last week you know so that person was saying that okay since you are having around 60 hours of lectures you know so if i study for 2 hours every day it means that within one month i can finish my studies and next month i can go and write the exam that is no. was this was no the, no that is not the, that is not the because you have to work for your week areas week areas uh, because i am if you are uh, somebody is costing background ca background uh, they have to work for the four and five and if anyone is from the infrastructure background they will really work hard for domain 1 2 3 that is my suggestion for the infrastructure profession but uh, for the costing professionals or ca professionals uh, i think four and five uh, needs to be revised many times because it is my area so i know what to be done but mix question mix and max questions it is very difficult it's very confusing because i got 70 plus questions uh, that mix and max question because it is mixed mixed from yeah, domain 2 and domain 4 domain 1 to domain 5 it is mixed so it is very difficult to answer because if you are uh, constantly uh, from one domain then you can answer but it is a mixed question then it is very difficult correct 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 and in the end you know what do you think like is the certification more important or the knowledge which you have gained from this yeah. certification that is more important because i mean why i'm asking this is because you know since this exam you know this certification id certification it doesn't have a timeline a person can give the exam even in one week a person can take even one year right any certification so sometimes people get greedy you know and they feel like oh so the the more early i get certification the more number of certification i'll be able to get in a year the more uh, enhanced will be my cv and the more will be the opportunities 
is this approach is this mindset the right mindset or no, no. your mindset should no. be to gain the understanding from the certification because ultimately i feel that that is what is going to be valuable for you in the end no. we, you will never pass uh, remembering the uh, remembering the questions or remembering the dumb you will never pass you have to be uh, that concept you have to have the concept behind the every topic domain 1 2 3 especially every topic it is concept based if you don't know the concept you will fail certainly fail and uh, aditya uh, truly speaking uh, what you have because your video lectures are so exp- explanation are there and there are 62 questions are also there short questions are also there i repeatedly uh, watched that 60 question repeatedly for virtualization i have repeatedly watched the question 3 4 times for uh, the encryptions i have uh, repeatedly watched the question 3 4 times but the concept is more important certification uh, that you will never pass because questions will change it is never the same question because you will not get the same question if you don't have the concept you will fail it is a it is the baseline because isaka uh, ISC squared. They are not stick on the same question. The questions are changing, so it is very difficult for the exam. And uh, you you have to learn the concept first. Step and that uh, uh, questions uh, you that Tisa uh, question booklet I have revised two times. So concept are more important. So uh, as an infrastructure person also, I don't know about the uh, CA or costing. Uh, that concept but uh, for the infrastructure certainly i believe that uh, you have to understand the concept and more importantly isaka mindset what isaka wants to get from you that is more important correct 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 my next question to you is again this is something which uh, normally people ask me okay what should uh, 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 after after qualifying sisa what are i mean what should be the next certification which certification uh, people should aim for post qualifying sisa so what sisa. should be your advice okay. like people who have already cleared so this is the, the, this, this is the question for people who have already cleared the exam and uh, they are planning for the future see uh, sisa is such kind of exam it is the only uh, i think uh, isaka is the only uh, option for the auditing right yeah. uh, and uh, after that uh, you can take uh, cissc from iisc squared that is the uh, exam or if uh, the cloud exam cloud auditing is the more recent uh, upcoming trends are there because uh, everybody is going to cloud so uh, as your aws uh, cloud auditing is the and um, iso 20000 uh, 27001 and 17 and um, pii is also very upcoming uh, fields are there so uh, this this thing will come because uh, uh, already us and european countries are uh, working on these uh, technologies pii and gdpr that, that kind of technology uh, so uh, this will come uh, and uh, pci dss so uh, i think uh, future in on security only and uh, you know the network also virtualized nowadays so everything is virtualized so future is on security and uh, i think cloud environment security is the upcoming field so these are the certificates and uh, one can take after sisa all right all right thank you so much for our detailed answers so any last tips uh, any 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 personal tip or you know uh, or any uh, last guidance whatever something you know uh, last minute tip or something whatever it is who who are watching the lectures for the, uh, and who are going to appear for the exam very soon or who are planning for taking the certification any piece of advice for them last piece of advice uh, yeah uh, my view uh, for sisa aspirants that uh, you review the lectures repeatedly because you have to get the concept first otherwise you will never answer find the right answer so uh, review the 
because there are many courses in, in uh, youtube you can see so i find aditya's uh, video lectures are very good because the energy he transform uh, to the uh, to me or the other person is very effective uh, mode of communication because you know the mode of communication is very important and so the pitch uh, that is very important and moreover the concepts are very clear even uh, adit is from the ca background but his encryption concept is very clear i never seen such a in, in concept like encryption to a it person also okay that type of clarity is there so uh, my suggestion is that repeatedly review the domains whatever your uh, weak domains are there and try to find out the isaka understanding and that is the core concept otherwise uh, if you uh, remember the all the things then uh, you will know about what the concepts you understand the core concepts of cipher other will otherwise it is very difficult uh, i think it is very difficult uh, because it is a concept based examination this kind of examination is concept based nothing to do with the core infrastructure or code uh, other field correct thank you aditya thank you so much for joining us and you know sharing your experience and entire journey and you know i i hope that everyone have uh, learned a lot from your interview thank you thank you but last and uh, not the least i thank aditya for the continuous support moreover it is a it is a mental uh, battle for me uh, because uh, he has supported uh, up to the last day of my exam and uh, thank you aditya and thank you so much all right.